Hey guys, one clue here. I hope all of you are doing well and having a really good day. In today's video, do we want to take a look on the most recent release of the ESP Miner firmware for your PIDX? So let's get started and run right into it. As you can see, we're back again on GitHub, and today I will not show you any new things on XOS or anything else because nothing really has changed on XOS. These Fixes are primarily on the backend side as well as primarily for manufacturers. There's one fix that was really necessary and therefore this version is now out. So the first thing that we do have is a tiny header defined cleanup by Mutatrum, which is awesome because we always do need new and cleaned up code, which is great. Thanks for doing that. The next thing, and this is the most important thing of this release, is the allow course in AP mode by Benjamin. What we have done with version 2.5.0 was we fixed that no longer any malicious websites can change your BTC address or your pool or any other settings on your BitX. So with that, we have implemented more security onto your BitX. What we forgot with version 2.5.0 was that we did not enable this in the AP mode. So if you do set up your BitX for the first time on version 2.5.0, you were not able to actually set up and save the configurations. So now with the version 2.5.1, this has been fixed. For all of you that already do have a BitX and that are running on version 2.5.0, everything is fine. I just did not release the version 2.5.0 on the web flasher because I was waiting for this version and this will be on the web flasher later today. So with that, all the manufacturers are also now capable of flashing and shipping out the BitX with the most secure firmware that we currently do have. We also do have a fix on the self-test button functionality, which is good because we do have the self-test that you can do as a manufacturer, for example, and he has fixed a couple of things on it there, which is awesome. We also do have a little bit of cleanup on the course implementation by E. Anderson, which is also lovely. Thanks for doing that, as well as changing the required at least IDF version to the version 5.4.0, which is great. These are all the changes, nothing to show you on the XRS, as I told you, but I thank everybody for, of you for tuning in and listening to this. So until there's a new release, see you next time.